That was a great shot, baby. Hey guys, Anthony Nader here with deadonhunting.com. And what we'd like to show you today is how we like to set up our tree stands uh, when filming a hunt. So what we've got here Don Cassidy and myself, and uh, we're just gonna go through the basic setup and why it is that we set it up a certain way. First of all, what we like to have is the camera guy stand, basically the platform set up uh, at right about the same height as the seat level as the hunter, as you can see. Um, and what that does is put where the camera will be, where the camera arm can be set up, and where the actual camera will be when the hunter is seating is really close to just eye level. And then uh, when we stand, obviously I'm a little bit higher uh, than the camera, and that we feel that you get the best shot uh, this way. So basically how we wanna be set up when we're standing is such that I can look right into this camera and it will be really close to my eye level when I'm standing, which is what I'd like to do when I shoot a deer, obviously be standing. Um, now, having it set up this way, it allows uh, the base of our camera arm to just be out of the way of the camera guy's uh, seat when it folds up. If you get it too close there, um, it, it'll just get in the way of his seat. So what we want to try and do is allow the hunter's seat to be going up and down um, and just try to fit two guys with the camera arm, two tree stands obviously, in as compact as an area as what you can as what you can get. So this is what we found to be best. Now obviously uh, the other camera that we have, uh, the camera guy will be wearing a DSLR camera and will be filming uh, with the professional camera. You know the, the camera arm can only go up and down and around and get to so many angles but so, so many times we find a deer that you know we can't actually film but we can see it so when you wear a DSLR camera in addition to filming with a camera on the camera arm you can get into a tighter spot something lower you know bring it down raise it up high you obviously don't want to be making too much motion up in the tree but if there's a, a buck that you can film that's off in the distance that you could get with the, with the DSLR that you're wearing and not have to make too much movement and take this camera off of the camera arm. That's just what we feel is best. Now another thing that we like to do is we'll use a couple GoPros. Um, we usually like to mount one on the bow, just like this. So when the hunter's drawing, you get a nice shot back here uh, as well as uh, the main camera. After the impact shot, what we try to do is then set the camera up so that it's still filming the hunter. We'll set it up just how it is now, and then down would go right to the other camera and film that so we try and get three camera angles going at the same time. So a couple other things I'd like to touch on. Obviously, when we're hunting in the woods, we're a lot higher. Right now, we're only a couple feet off the ground, but we'd obviously be wearing our safety harnesses. And what we like to do is, is climb up on the, the hunter's left side. So we'd come up the tree, get into the hunter's platform, and then climb up and get into the camera guy stand from the hunter's platform and just have to move around the camera arm. Now, the, the only other thing that I'd like to talk about, I guess, is the sound. Uh, we've got the main camera, which will have um, a shotgun microphone, which isn't on, it's, it's not on there right now, but uh, because we're actually using it on the DSLR but we'd have a shotgun mic right here, and then as you can see, I'm wearing a lav mic, uh, which would also be put into this XLR port right here. Um, and then we just don't worry about the audio on the DSLR. We would only use the audio that we gather from the professional camera. Um, it, it just gets too bulky in the tree having another shotgun mic on the DSLR. And and obviously we don't we you know we wouldn't use any audio on the GoPros. Everything just audio main focus right here, a lav mic, a shotgun mic, and then that's it. We don't worry about any other audio uh, other than that. The other thing, obviously, and this is, this is gonna be the last thing, I swear, um, when you've got two guys in the tree like this, um, you've got more than twice the movement and more than twice the sound. Everyone says you've got double, but when you're filming, you've got a lot more movement going on than, than twice uh, what a normal hunter would, would be in. So it's important to try and get another tree or two around you and really try to conceal yourself as much as possible because 
it's really, really difficult to try and successfully film a hunt. So you really want to try and uh, get as broken up as you possibly can. Other than that, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you learned a little something. Uh, don't forget to comment below as well as subscribe and go check out our, our hunting site, deadonhunting.com. Hey guys, Anthony Nader here with deadonhunting.com. Dang it! <laughs> Uh, where were we? That was my phone. Oh yeah, it's something something dot com. Oh yeah. <laughs> Fucking flies on me like I'm a turd. That one's going in. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's pretty much it.